shout a very loud hallelujah. I want to praise the Lord for this opportunity I have to be in the house this morning. It's an opportunity I don't take lightly. God has chosen me to be here. And I know he has put a word in my mouth for you and a word for this season. That word will work wonder in your life and my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we sit down, shall we just lift up our hands unto the Lord? Ready to him. Say, Father, I thank you for the word. Say, Father, thank you for the word. Thank you for that who spiritual assignment on the cross. Lord, thank you for that supreme sacrifice on the cross. Lift your voice and tell him. Say, Father, thank you. To me, the Lord, Lord of all. In Jesus' name. Righteous Father, I bless you this day. We thank you because at this kind of hour, you have brought us a thing together for your blessing. Now, now, Lord, let the blessings of the Lord go with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I disappear for you to appear in this place. Lord, I pray that you fill me up. Open up your treasures unto your people. Speak expressly to us. Change our destinies. And let our name, your name be glorified. Thank you, Father, for that you have done. In Jesus' glorious and wonderful name, we are prayed. In Jesus' glorious and wonderful name, we are prayed. Jesus, join us with the hands together as we take our seat. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for a time like this that we have all seen together. We are in the season of the passion of Christ. Christ went to the cross for an assignment. And that's for your benefit and for my benefit. So what we are about to see in a moment is about the benefit of the cross. What we are about to encounter is what I tie to the benefit of the cross. What has the cross have to offer to you and I? That's what we are about to see. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are about to see. But permit me to narrow it down to one of the seven key statements of Jesus on the cross. And that is found in the book of John chapter 19 and verse 30. John chapter 19 and verse 30. I'm going to read from here. John 19 and verse number 30. So I shall hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So that will read this way. Verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the final, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and gave her the ghost. It is finished, he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. It is finished, he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Go with me as well to the book of Hebrews chapter number 5. I want to show you something as I move on this morning. But I need to lay a foundation for this message. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 5. The book of Hebrews chapter 5. I read from 1. The Bible says, For every I priest, Taken from among men, is ordained for men in this pertaining to God, that he may offer birth gifts and sacrifice for sins. Verse 2 Who can have compassion on the ignorance and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity? And by reason hereof, he ought as of the people. So also for himself to offer for sin. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. But he said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. As he said, he also in another place, 
Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I don't want to bless your time. What I want to bring out is Christ is our high priest. Christ is our high priest. And every high priest has an altar for sacrifice. Every high priest has an altar for sacrifice. So the Calvary tree is his own altar. We are in offer what is called a supreme sacrifice. So the event that happened at Calvary was a spiritual sacrifice, which is a supreme one for you and I. I like to tell you that on Calvary tree, Jesus undertook three key spiritual assignments for you and I. Three key ones. For you and I. And what are those assignments? Those assignments are meant for your spirituality. They are for your health and they are for your wealth. He set you them home. Now, the question you need to ask yourself when he said it is finished, what actually is finished? What has he done? The full payment for your spirituality is set you. The full payment for your health is settled. The full payment for your wealth is settled on the cross. The power of the cross. Now what is it that Jesus has got in on that cross? I want to tell you that his death and his blood paved the way for our spirituality. The Bible says, without the shedding of the blood, there will be no remission of sin. Had Jesus not died, we would have died in our sins. But because he died, he will purchase us back unto God. He will have reconnected back to our maker. By the what? By the precious blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood is able to do what? To wash. So the first thing Jesus went to the cross to do is to pay the price for your spirituality. The first kiss we can sign it. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? It's in the book of John chapter 16 verse 7. Let's look at it together. John 16 the book of John number 16 and verse 7. Oh, sorry. John 16 and verse 7. The Bible says that Jesus speaking, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto me. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. It is expedient that I go. It is very important that I go. It is very important that I die. What do we call today Good Friday? Can you call it this somebody died good? But this one is not good because of the benefits that are attached to that death. We have the precious Holy Ghost by his death. We are redeemed by his blood. We can cry, Abba, Father, by his blood. We are reconnected to our maker by his blood. So that is why it is called a good Friday. We are being reconciled back. We who were before alienated from the common word of God. We are now reconnected back to the years of salvation by the blood. So Jesus undertook that spiritual 
spiritual assignment it paid that debt that you and I the Bible said in that first chapter, chapter 6, verse 20, say, Ye are bought with a price. Ye are bought with a price. What price? The blood. The blood. That blood is the price paid for the full deliverance from sin. That blood is the price paid for the full deliverance from poverty. Galatians chapter 3, 13 and 14. The Bible says, Cause is every man that is anchored upon the tree. He took your cause and gave you back a blessing. Because the purpose of cause is one blessing. Cause is every man that is anchored upon the tree. And God said, So that we can enjoy the blessings of Abraham who went to that cross. So he took your place in poverty. He took my place in poverty. Those are his spiritual assignments on the cross. He went to the cross to take with him your poverty and my poverty. But the question is this. Why are we still basking in that same old thing as before? We are like uh, a servant or a slave that love is sins. I will explain what I mean. A serpent that was in shame at the time the master called said, Come on, he lose it. Lose the shame. So no, I love where I have. He doesn't like you. That's how we have the void. But if we can recognize the sacrifice he has paid for and tap into the power that connects to what they are setting, then we can take back our possession. Jesus' blood was the price paid for all that we never need in our life. The Bible says, Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All what? We have three basic necessities of life. Shelter and comfort. Is that also? If you go to the book of Matthew chapter 6, read from verse 13, uh, sorry, uh, 16 downwards to verse 34. You will see there. God is speaking there. He told us, take no thought about what you will eat, or the clothes you will wear, or where you will lay your head, but seek you first. The kingdom and all these things on their own naturally will be added. What we are dying for are the additions. We are fasting and praying for additions. That's new. If we can today reconnect back to Him, because why? If we can lay hold on the sacrifice of the cross, if we can say, Lord, today I claim all you died for. Then we can get it back. If we stole it from your heart, but today we will be we will recover all in the name of Jesus. I said we will recover all in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to tell you that the blood of Jesus is a spiritual currency, it's a spiritual legal tender, it's a spiritual money. And just as you know, you can't go to any markets or any market here. And go and pick a commodity that pay the price. Is that not so? I want to show you from the scripture what Jesus has paid for by the power of the Lord. He paid for seven different things for you and I. And I want to show you by his own word. Go with me to the book of Revelations. Here, chapter 5. And verse number 12. Here we are going to see what I captured the seven blood purchased in any times of the saints. The seven blood purchased in any times of the saints. The Bible says, We are heirs of the Father. 
We are joined here with a song. That was it. We are yes, of the Father. We are joined here with a song. Amen. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. We are one. Bible speaking. That's with John 3.35. So all that the Father has has been given to the Son. And the Father, the God of heaven, is the creator of the universe. He's a very resourceful God. He created all things for his own benefit. And he gave it all to the Son. And the Bible says we are co-heir to the Son. Jesus is the Son of God. He inherited all the Father has. And Jesus said, I am giving my right and entitlement to you because of my blood. Are you ready to take it? Let me show you seven things. Revelation chapter 12, 5 verse 12. Say with a loud voice, What is the Lamb that was slain to receive power? You know, when you pay for a commodity, you receive what you pay for. When Jesus paid on the cross with his blood, the first thing he received for you and I is power. That's his spiritual initiative. Power. The physician said, Power is the ability to do work. Is that what so? So, whatever you need to do in your life, you need power to do. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. That grace is the power bestowed upon me. He said, I labor. More than them all, yet not I, but the power, the grace that will be stored upon me. Somebody today will come power for the next level. Amen. If you are not empowered enough, you can't get to that next level. Every, to every level, there are new devils. To be able to deal with the devil at the next level, you need to be spiritually empowered more than where you are now. Somebody here today will pick a brand new power and grace to operate and switch on the next level in the name of Jesus. Amen. To operate in your next level, then you need a different level of power. Somebody say power. power. Somebody say power. power. Somebody say power. power. Come on me. Come on me. Come on me. Hallelujah. Amen. You know you are just great. You know you are just great. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm glad somebody has received. It said, Whatsoever you say in your mouth, I will do it. That was it. It took much to tell them. Everything they speak of, that's what I will do. You have called power to come into you. And I decree over you today, you are no more than a man to know. The grace. Has come upon you and your life will never change for God in Jesus' name. I don't want to waste your time. By the grace of God, I started banking on finance and I love to, when I'm teaching Bible, I like to put it in. That's what we call purchasing power of money. So if the blood of Jesus is like money, it's like our currency, the first thing the purchasing power did was to get you power. He purchased power. He took it from the devil. He went to that grave. He went to hell. So, oh, death, where is what? Where is your thing? Oh, grave, where is thy power? He took away power from grave. From today, the power of the grave has no power over your life again in Jesus' name. Yeah. Jesus said to that spiritual sign about your spirituality. He said to me about your health. The Bible says, By his stripes ye are healed. Not, the Bible rendered in, in the past tense. You are already healed. So somebody here now, sick of any sickness or disease, we're walking to freedom 
in Jesus' name. Amen. That is my understanding. By his stripes, Jesus took 39 stripes on the cross on the day like this. And by explanation of, of uh, from Bible scholars, every disease and sickness in the world have been categorized from 39 categories. That is to say, each time Jesus took on the cross, settled your sickness. Each stripes he took, settled one sickness or the other in the life of man. But if you say, carry that sickness or disease today, you can lay hold to the power of the cross. I will cling to the old rugged cross. I will change it from me for a crown. I will cling to the old rugged cross. I will stand to some for a crown. Jesus says something. He said, the son of man will as well be lifted up as much as lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. And the whosoever looketh upon it shall be saved. Looking on the Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Looking on to Jesus. When you look at him on the cross, you are trying to connect to the finished work on that cross. Jesus will pay for my secrets. You pay for my disease. You pay for every attack I'm suffering. Therefore, no longer mine. I try to do. Take it away. I'm free. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody here before you leave here. You live here with what is called a clean bill of health. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is not here. As if somebody is living here with a clean bill of health. In the name of Jesus. It should be. We have what is called a bill of living. Bill of living is what expresses what is the consignment on God. And a clean bill of living is a bill of living. That says that there is nothing defective on board. But we have a dirty bill of the living. I need to say there are some defective books here. But when you have a clean bill of air from the law, that means to say sicknesses and diseases are removed from the world. You are going to pick into an assignment now. Scripture. I don't know what is not written here. Written here. It's an assignment. And you are going to do it. Proverbs 10 22. Look at that. Proverbs 10 22. Proverbs 10 22. We have been reading it. If I go back to the seven book purchase, let's quickly do something there. Or let somebody just help me read so that I don't live here. Proverbs 10 22. Very fast. The blessings of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord. It maketh rich. It maketh rich. And had no sorrow with it. And had no sorrow with it. Can you have me connect it with Exodus 23, 25, and 26? I want to get, I'm going somewhere. If I connect back. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. The blessings of the Lord maketh rich. We are talking about the power of the cross. The power of the Lord. Acts 1 from the 3 from the Bible says, The Bible says, You shall serve the Lord, and He shall bless your bread and water. He shall take away sicknesses away from the midst of people. So nothing shall cast a young. Is that like that in your Bible? Continue. Ye shall serve the Lord your God, uh -huh. and He shall bless thy bread and thy water, mm -hmm. and I will take sickness away from the Who will take it away? He said, I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Uh -huh. There shall nothing cast their young. There shall nothing cast their young. Not the barren. Not the barren. In thy land. In thy land. The number of the days they will fulfill. The number of the days you will fulfill. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the special assignment comes. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb, 
The third son in first Samuel chapter 10 is Saul also among the prophets. I'm not the prophet. But I'm a child of God that believed in the power of the world. So you want to, you are looking for the truth of the world. You are here this morning and today. Let the power of the cross go for you. Can you rise up and come out? If you are here, don't be ashamed. Nobody. Fine. If you are sick of any sickness of the sin, is it food of the woman? Why you don't want to come out before? Because I'm a you know, prophet. What do I know that? Together, we will get cross. Who will help me? I don't know that song so much, but we need it. Sir, you know it? Please help me. Help me. It's important. Now you know this thing, you need to have a Come on, come on, take it. Come on, take it. Come on, take it. Revelation was settled. 
The Bible said, the curtains upon the altar was rent into two. That which was before the living became open. Somebody's spiritual eye is open now. Amen. Somebody's spiritual ear is open now. Amen. Somebody's spiritual mind is open now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Revelation came by the power of the cross. That which was eat at all eaten became open. That good thing that I've been packing for you. And you have been married for nothing around, yet you did not see. Your eye will see this season. Amen. Your eye will see this season. Amen. Your eye will see this season. Amen. Somebody believe a shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was said to me by the power of the cross. By your blood, who crushed this reality. Jesus, I say, Jesus, oh, by your name, you must have to be separated. Jesus, Jesus, Have been made ready by the world. That is what that place is trying to tell you. 
The power of the blood. That was a worthy is the lamb that was slain. Slain means killed. The lamb that was killed. He became a sacrificial lamb. Sacrificial lamb. And the cause of Calvary became in the altar of sacrifice for you and I. And there he took the seven things for you. What is the lamb that was slain to receive? Number one, glory. I mean power. Number two, riches. Number three, wisdom. That was a wisdom is the principal thing. In all that I get him, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. And as you know, a principal is the number one man in any school. Anything that will happen, they come to him, sir, this is what is happening, what can we do? Somebody after now, God, the Bible said, if anyone lacks wisdom, James, let him ask of God, who give it liberally and unbreaked not. God is here to give somebody wisdom. Amen. Wisdom that will make that position that has not changed from now, before now, to change. Amen. Receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In your step of soul, I don't lift up your right hand and tell the Lord. Father, I receive wisdom that will take me to my next level. I receive wisdom that will take me to my next level. Wisdom that will take me to my next level, I receive. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Wisdom that will take me to my next level. I will take you to the next level. I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Again, strength. 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 Strength is the brother of power. Is that what I'm saying? Strength is another thing supplied by the blood. Are you here? You said you are not sick, but yet you know you don't have strength. There are things you you should be able to do that you find it difficult to do. The Lord tell the Lord, I claim strength by the blood of Jesus. I receive spiritual strength. I receive physical strength. I see financial strength. Tell the Lord. We are not here to do this. We are here to claim our inheritances by the power in the blood. By the finished work of the cross. Say, Father, by the finished work of the cross, I see strength in the spiritual, strength in the physical, strength in the financial. In Jesus' name. I move on because of our time. Honor. The opposite of honor is what? Dishonor. Are you here? There are issues in families. You don't need to wait for him. Why? Because there is what is needed in his life is not there. But there is there are one who has the honor. Ah, he's not here. Let's wait for you. That will be your portion after now in Jesus' name. You are going to tell the Lord. I give my dishonor to you. And I take the honor by the power of the cross. Jesus will pay for my honor. From today, everywhere I've been dishonored, they will begin to honor me. But I will say, wherein ye are being forsaken, your place can celebrate you. Yeah. And I say, Lord, I become a celebrity where I've been damned, where I've been rubbish. And from today, from now, by the power of the Lord, I take honor. I take honor. I take honor. Is someone praying? Just pray for the Lord. Say, Father, I take honor. By the power of the Lord, I receive honor. Every the son of heart of my life. In Jesus. Mighty man will be glory. Shame is the opposite of glory. If you don't have glory, then you are in shame. There is a law. I sell to the cross every shameful situation in my life. I take glory that the cross and the blood has to offer. From today, I live a glorious life. From today, I walk in glory. I am a celebrity. No man will rubbish me any longer. Open your mouth and tell him. 
Just tell him very briefly. Father, I surrender the cross. Every shame I've ever suffered, or every shame that is present in my life, I surrender it at the cross. I take the glory by the power of the cross. In Jesus, mighty name of the Lord. The last one is blessing. I will now connect it with that. Uh, Proverbs 10 22 when I read the blessing. The blessing of the Lord make it rich and add that no sorrow. Now, the Bible says, You shall serve the Lord your God and He shall bless your bread and your water. Now, many kinds of sicknesses or diseases are contacted through what we eat or what you drink. Is that not so? And the Bible says, God speaking, he said, I will bless your bread and your water if you serve me. Because you serve me. Now, I'm going to also go into covenant with God, covenant of service. I'm going to also want to work it by our own hand and want God to work it and release us as well. Hallelujah. We have been working it, but do you want to take it to live it up to Jesus? Oh, to Jesus I surrender oh, to me I In mathematics, there's what is called a theorem. And there's what is called God's theorem. That is, God said, My ways are not your ways. To man, man will believe until I walk before money will come to me. Or you can serve and wait for the person. Which one, which one is my enjoyment? To serve. Let me give you this testimony and before God and my life now. I know a family, they are our family friends in Lagos. They are two daughters who were twins. And they are essence. Every time they are sick, they are in the hospital. The family spends so much on them. They will pay school fees, they will not go to school up to half of the time. Because they are sick. But on a day, a kind of day like this, they had a message about kingdom stewardship, or you call it service, or kingdom service. And that's a, that's how the winners, the living virtual, get caught up. It's okay. It's not as if the church does not have money to pay laborers. So we want to become laborers. We are girls, not men, not them. And they told their mother, Mommy, we want to go and join them to work in the church. And both of them left to work in the church. And in the same day, they walked. Something told out of them. I am different. Something new has happened. And they called the mother. Let's go and do a test. That's okay. I don't have money. Let's wait till Monday. But I can't go and ask your father for another money now. You know they are sent a lot. What the money? At the end of the day, they went to Christ. And SS turned to be home by the power of the saints. How many of us want God to work it for us? How many of us want to surrender our strength to his own strength? How many of us want him to hand over? Our needs to us. How many of us wanted to add things to our life? How many of us are tired of doing, doing it on the road? How many of us are ready to surrender unto you? If you are here, they want to surrender to you. You want to lay down at the cross. Say, Father, I lay down at the cross. 
I take all that from me, my strength. Let your strength be my strength. How many of us are saying that at the moment? How many of us want to surrender and say, Oh, you sons. But when you serve the Lord your God, He will bless your bread and your water. By the grace of God, I'm not here to come from people on so much. The gateway to an impartial life. It will come out this one by God's grace. And one of these revelations, this revelation is one of those things I share in love. He shall serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread and your water. When God bless your bread and your water, nothing can ever make you sick. No disease and penetration. Because why? You have been covenant of service for them. Blessing has been bought by the power of the Lord. You can take the difference now. If only you are ready. How many of us are ready to serve? How many of us are ready to serve? Lastly, Without the shedding of the blood, there will be no remission of sin. How many of us want to tap with the power that washes whiter than snow? How many of us want to say, Jesus, I surrender unto you? Nothing of me but all of you. Lift up your hands if you want to. But they were connected back to you. Lift it up distinctively. Lift it up. If you are shy of him here, he may be shy of you right there. And if he's shy of you right there, he will not direct to you what you need. How many of us want to walk out of here today and connect to what you have been looking for? What you have been looking for is ready. He said, All things are now ready. All things are available. So you can talk to him by the power of the Lord. If you are resting that and hot, can you take a step forward and come forward? Don't be shy. I urge you. We are not here to do. At the center of the world, Somebody here. The whole lift up your right hand if you are here in the front. Lift up your right hand just in the front. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. I am tired of doing it all alone. I surrender my strength to you. Take over from me. Work this out for me. From this moment, as I walk in your vineyard and as I work for your benefits, Lord, work my life. Work my person, work my marriage, work my business. Let all things become known in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Congratulations. I decree into your life the power of the cross and the power of the blood change your story. I decree, as an anointed servant of the Most High, that that which your life needs to turn around is your destiny. Go celebrate it in the name of Jesus. Brother, I plug this hand into your hand. And by this hand, 
I command the fire on the earth to melt every bottle in your life. I decree by the power of the God that your story changed for you. And the story of the earth will change for you by the power of the Lord. Your destiny changed for you. A brilliant turn around is your portion. Go enjoy it. Now I get the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Madam, today, because you are not ashamed of the law, because you allow the devil to rob you, I decree everywhere you have been robbed, God compensates you. God works things for you in the name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's pass up on our feet. Let's pass up on our feet. Lift up your hands. We are going to sing that song again before I leave you. By your blood, you crush principal Jesus. Jesus has paid the price for the cross. Not because of what Jesus died for, we will no longer be a slave to them. From today, we we'll enjoy in full all the all the all that Jesus has paid the price for in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have done that for us. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Somebody shout a loud amen.